This episode of The Pageant Project is brought to you by the Neutralis Natural Skin Care Range. Neutralis's effective, cruelty-free formulas are proven to keep your skin looking healthy and feeling good and are packed with pure and organic ingredients. Neutralis is also 100% Australian made and owned. Use the code PAGEANTPROJECT18 to get $10 off when you shop with Neutralis online at www.neutralis.com.au forward slash shop. I'm Miss Teen Australia Continents 2018, Brittany Sheath, and this is my interview with The Pageant Project. Hey everyone, it's Adrian from The Pageant Project and I'm here with Miss Teen Australia Continents 2018, Brittany Sheath. Brittany, welcome to the show. Thanks for having me. Did I get the title right? You did, With yeah. those really long ones, sometimes <laughs> I get the words a long mixed one. <laughs> up. Uh, so Brittany, can you tell us a little bit about, I guess, the continent system to start with? I interviewed Jess uh, Turunen, your missus, and you guys are all going to Vegas in three weeks, isn't it? Yes. It's a really hard life. Very hard. Very hard life. Um, tell us a bit more about the continent system and why you decided to enter it. So I did my very first pageant when I was 14 and I gained a lot of confidence within myself and I really found that it's something that I was very passionate about. Mm -hmm. So I did the three years in the one pageant system but then I came across the continent system and what really drew me to the pageant was their motto which is be your own kind of beautiful. And I think it's really important for, you know, everyone especially women sure. um, and the younger youth to really embrace themselves and really you know, be happy and proud of who they are. Everyone is beautiful and unique in their own way and they shouldn't have any things about themselves that make them feel negative or you sure. know, aren't confident within themselves. Sure. Um, and so yeah, I came across the, this pageant and I thought it would be really gr great for me to be able to go for the title and it's always been my dream as a little girl to represent my country internationally and I did the state finals, sorry not the state finals, I did the national finals. Back in November last year. Yeah, November last year was the national finals and I was um, luckily enough to be crowned Miss Teen Australia continent so now we'll be flying over to Vegas in three weeks time to compete internationally. And how, how did it feel? I guess first off, did you have any inkling you were going to win? No. No? I went in there with just a open mind letting anything happen you know like everyone's deserving of the crown so yeah and then i guess secondly how did it feel describe the emotion if you can remember back to the moment they were actually, you were announced as a winner how did that feel um i didn't really i was kind of shocked and just nothing was really going through my head i was thinking oh my god like this is a dream like <laughs> you know i was so shocked and it wasn't really it didn't really hit me until like yeah. a week after when i finished all the photo shoots but it was just a really proud and happy moment for me because I have been working towards it for the past four years. Yeah. Um, so it was a very proud and happy moment, but sure. very rewarding. How do you feel? Because you mentioned it's been four years, so that's a long time. It's like an Olympian preparing for, <laughs> for the Olympics, right? How do you feel that you've changed as a person over those four years? I mean, obviously you've, you've grown and matured. Part of, that, part of that is normal. But how do you think through the pageant system maybe you've changed as a person? Well, when I was a younger girl, I wasn't really confident with myself, but I think that's just every girl growing up, mm. you know, trying to step out of their comfort zone and try to fit in with the people around them. And I actually didn't enter my first pageant myself. My mum actually applied for myself to enter the, my first pageant. And it wasn't until I came home from school one day and there was a parcel <laughs> sitting on my bench. Right. And I looked at it and it had the, the logo of the pageant system yeah. and then Brittany Sheath. So I was very suspicious and opened it yeah. and I kept reading it and it said um, like congratulations Brittany Sheath you are you're a state finalist and I was reading and I was, looked at mum and mum's got like this smile on her face and I'm like what is going on and then I kept reading it so it wasn't actually myself who applied for the first pageant but I'm very grateful for mum for doing that because I would have eventually done it myself but right. probably not that young but I feel as though it was probably the best time for me to start to gain my experience and sure. you know to grow within so yeah, 
So were you aware of what pageants were back when your mum applied for you? Because a lot of, in Australia, pageants aren't that big yet. I think they're growing. The, yeah, definitely But growing. were you aware of the pageant system and what was actually involved back then when your mum entered you? I wasn't entirely aware of what was involved throughout the whole pageant world, but it's, you know, a lot more behind the scenes work than mm. people see it. Like it's a lot of community work, helping out within your your area, helping those out in need, raising money for charity, but it's all stuff that every girl loves to do and feels very rewarding doing it. So it all pays off and you feel proud doing it. Sure. And I guess this sounds weird asking you, like what do you want your legacy to be at the end? I mean, I, I'm, I assume that you, I mean, would you continue competing? I mean, you've got a title now. So some people like, they want to win a title. Now you've done that. So I guess what, what's the next step for you? You're going international. Well, my ultimate dream is to win an international title. So I'm working as hard as I can over the, like I said, four years to yeah. get to where I am now. So my dream is to win overseas, but like I said, anything can happen and every girl is deserving. So whatever be, whatever it will be, it will be. Yeah. And I'll be proud to represent my country regardless. And I saw Victoria's Secret is in there somewhere as well. Yes. That's, is that the ultimate? That's that's the, the one at the, the top of the with list. The giant wings on oh, it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. That sounds exciting. So what? Um, I guess once you finish your reign this time around with a with the title you have now, what do you hope your your legacy to be like? If people remembered you for something during your reign with this title, what would you hope that your reign stood for? Um, just to you know empower other girls to keep going and not giving up on their dreams. Everything doesn't always happen when you want it to happen. Yeah. Um, so I'd like people to see that I was a girl who, you know, worked towards what I wanted and I kept on going until my dream was a reality. Mm. A happy girl who was always willing to help out, raising money for charities such as the Make-A-Wish Foundation, which is a cause that I'm very passionate about. Yeah. So yeah, just a very happy, bubbly girl and someone who worked hard for what she achieved. Apart from the page, I mean, okay, so give us an idea as to what's involved in preparing for the pageant because I know there's, as you said, there's a lot that goes behind the scenes that almost no one knows about. And it is actually hard work if you approach it like a four year thing. Yeah. So what's pageant prep like for you? There's obviously main ones like, you know, you gotta, not you, that you have to, but to benefit yourself, eat healthily, yeah. you know, keeping a fit physique. So going training regularly, mm -hmm. there's getting all your outfits and all your jewelry to match the attire, your shoes, making appearances, raising funds for charity organisations, promoting the system and being the best possible version of yourself. So there's a lot involved. And do you have a favourite part of the pageant? Everyone has said interviews, but... Well, for me, interview was actually the most nerve wracking one for me, but yeah. I actually was very proud of myself last year as I uh, was awarded best interview at oh, Miss Teen Continents. Right, so you got the same award that Gemma did. Gemma did, yeah. Right. <laughs> so um, that was very, you know, a big accomplishment for me because that was something that I was always so nervous about. Yeah. But it now sounds probably a bit silly saying it, but it is probably my favourite interview. Right. Um, you're able to, you know, show the judges what you're passionate about and let them hear why you are in the competition, why you think you are deserving of the crown what your vision are, your goals are. Sure. So to really let them see the real you and just to really tell them anything that you need to tell them. What's the hardest pageant interview question you've ever been asked? I'm sure there must have been at least one or two that have stumped you. There's been a few, yes. It would be when I was, uh, I think it was my second year competing. Right. I went into an interview panel and I was asked if I could go back a hundred years in time, what would I change and why? So. Being, I don't know what I would Being answer. 15, it was pretty uh, a big question for me, but I yeah. picked it out of the bowl and that was a question that I was asked. So yeah. it was my own fault for picking that one. But I am... Um, yeah, fault. Fault, would you say? Yeah. Um, but yeah, that was the one that stumbled me a lot. Do you remember the answer you gave? No, I didn't no. even remember the answer when I walked out. <laughs> I was, it must have gone really well. I was just overwhelmed. <laughs> that's, but, a, that's a hard question. And I don't, yeah. Anyway, so... What, apart from the pageant stuff, which I know is very time consuming, what does Brittany Sheath do just in her free time, off time? What does she enjoy doing? I mean, we're at your, your lovely place. I mean, the cameras are facing this way. Over there is a the Hawkesbury <laughs> River and a huge house. And facing that way is the biggest, it looks like a football ground <laughs> worth of front, and the driveway is 100 meters long. 
Um, Brittany <laughs> said she spied, she got, she saw me from her house all the way there. I'm like, really? You can see that fight? You must have eyes like this. But what Binoculars. do you do in your spare time? Well, what do you enjoy obviously doing? Obviously in the summer, we're always out in the water, water skiing, driving the boat for my brothers, yeah. wakeboarding, you know, anything kind of water related. We're a very big family that enjoys that. I am a dental nurse for my job. But um, yeah, spending time with my friends and family. I've got two little nephews and a little niece on the way. So spending time with them is very important to me, but yeah. And I don't know if it's too early to ask this, but do you have anything else you have planned for, let's say next year, five years down the track, 10 years down the track? Nothing that I'm 100% like my mind set on, but I would like to go back to school and study to become a dentist. Yeah. Um, I would like to own my own house in the next five years, definitely, and to potentially have a successful modelling career, but anything can happen in five years, so sure. just have to take it as it comes. Now, you uh, will be in Vegas soon. Do you have any goals set for yourself as to what you hope to achieve? Over there? Yeah. Uh, well, my ultimate goal, like I said, was to win the international crown. Yeah. But other than that, I have organised a few photo shoots over in Vegas with some um, photographers over there. So I think that'll be very interesting to be able to, you know, shoot in another country and mm. potentially see what comes out of it. But other and you've never been to America before? No, first time. So what are you most looking forward to in America? Shopping. Shop <laughs> Isn't that the best place to shop? <laughs> Vegas, yes, probably. Yes, um, very... Uh, my bank account probably won't like it, but I will like it a lot. <laughs> fair, fair enough. That sounds good. Um, Brittany, we'll move towards the close, but for people who want to follow your journey, can you give them the social media details so they can follow your journey? Sure. So I have my Facebook account, which is Brittany Sheath Official, and my Instagram account for my continents, which is Miss underscore teen underscore Australia underscore continents. It's a very, very long one. Don't worry, I'll but... subtitle it underneath. <laughs> I'll just shorten it up a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> and then I have my everyday Instagram account, which is Brittany Sheath. Perfect. Okay. Well, let's move to the close. Um, did you see the interview I did with Gemma? The recent one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So I, I end with the same 10 questions, so you'll be fine with this. Okay. <laughs> so exactly the same questions. So number one, what is your favorite word? I would say summer. Okay. All right. Good choice. <laughs> what about, so you know what's coming next then, right? What's your least favorite word? Hate. Hate. Okay. In life, what turns you on? What are you excited about? I'm excited about the future and what possibilities are ahead of me. So I think that's... Yeah. And at your age, is a lot ahead of you, hopefully. <laughs> okay. What about what turns you off? People who are egotistical. Okay. I like that answer. What sound or noise do you love? I think walking through the bush and hearing the birds and the trees. I think can, I can slightly hear it now. Which we can sort I of I think at that's the a moment. Yeah, re relaxing type of sound. I was going to guess you were going to say the sound of the water because you're right next to it. You can't really hear the water. No, you can't really hear waves on the hawks for it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what sound or noise do you hate? Dogs barking. But you have, you have dogs. Yeah, I don't like when they bark. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe you have to get some. They don't bark all the time, but when they do, it's not. You, because it disturbs your peace and quiet, or? It's just irritating. It's so high pitched and consistent. Okay. I don't uh, like I it. I can see you actually getting angry. I'm getting... <laughs> talking about it. It's like, yeah. <laughs> okay. And then they'll start barking. <laughs> sure. Okay. I know I've asked you this in a written format, but what if you could have one superpower? what would you pick and why? To be able to breathe underwater. That way you can, you know, be able to go scuba diving without worrying about anything going wrong or yeah. you've got no worries. So just being able to go down swimming underwater, I think that'd be a very good superpower to have. And Gemma loved your answer so much she decided to steal it. <laughs> <Gemma>. <laughs> what occupation other than your own would you most like to attempt? Primary school teaching has always been something that I've been passionate about and would you know, love to do. So if it wasn't for me to go down the dentistry path, I would definitely go towards primary education. Perfect. Have you, do, you must like working with kids then? Because yeah. that's a very, okay, all right. Because <laughs> if you're going there, you don't yeah. like working with kids. No, I love working with kids. Yeah. Okay, what occupation other than your own would you definitely not like to attempt? Probably a bus driver. 
don't really see that very enjoyable at all, although everyone is entitled to their each opinions and... You don't want the kids on the bus saying the wheels on the bus go round and round? No. And 99 dollars <laughs> of beer on the wall for three hours? If heaven exists, what would you like to hear God say when you arrive at the pearly gates? That I have come to the right place. I think that's what I'd like him to say. That sounds like a good choice. Well, thank you so much for your time. Thanks for having me. And best of luck with, um, with the international pageant. Thank you. Would you like to finish by with a tongue twister? Sure, let's go. Okay, let's try it. So she sells seashells oh, by the seashore. Oh, not this one again. Come on, you can do it. Sh seashells, seashells by the seashore. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'll leave you alone on that one. I'm going to thank everyone for watching and uh, speak to you next time. Bye. Hey, it's Adrian. If you'd like some pageant coaching to help you win that title, or you'd like to keep up to date with our interviews, check us out at thepageantproject.com. Speak to you soon.